Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm just really loving our twin moment right now. We're like twin share. A lot of people don't know that Raja's hair used to be this. This was Raja's hair for like ever. I'm not giving essence. Right now I am Cher. That's all I'm saying. This is not the essence. I have become her. Cher doesn't watch this. <laughs> no, yes she does. You think she does? Actually, I know she does. Um, She's sitting there just, oh, man. No, I, that would have been a boot, man. That's no Mackey. More like Bob Wacky. Oh! <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Raja. And Raymond. Oh, welcome to the latest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Fashion photo review. You sound like Shakira, actually. <laughs> Not Cher. Cher Kira. Cher Kira. I was giving you She's Shakira. She's giving you Shakira. <laughs> We're gonna be tooting oh. and booting the looks from the main stage of season 16 of... Oh, oh, oh. So, if you haven't guessed, it's Night of a Thousand Shares! Oh. Oh. Everywhere, every share, all at once. These girls got so lucky with this theme, and right now we have 13 contestants remaining. The thing with Cher is that bitch is a Superstar. Cher is a rule breaker. Cher is a powerful woman who has been fighting the patriarchy for decades. She's All this glamorous. Can't even think of a decade or an era where it's like, ooh, no, this is quintessential Cher. Every time you think mm -hmm. she tops herself, she tops herself again. I mean, if you can't top yourself, how are you going to top somebody else? Oh! You know, I always say that. Catch an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fridays on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Go to dragrace.wowpresentsplus.com. Or click the link below to see if RuPaul's Drag Race is available in your territory on WOW Presents Plus. Let us know who your top two of the week is in the comments below. Just click and subscribe. Yeah, man. Oh. Oh. So let's say you're actually competing. You were asked to bring a share look to compete, to walk the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race for a night of a thousand shares. If I could turn back time. I was just thinking. The hair the and then like the sailor's hat and then the, the rose tattoos on mm -hmm. the ass. I would want to do 70s share. Long, beautiful, sleek hair mm -hmm. in some beautiful Mackie replica. Which era no. do you pick? There's so many eras and these bitches are about to give us share. If they up, I'm gonna rip this wig off and throw it at the camera and just walk out of here. Like, I just have no patience for it. So let's, let's do it. Oh. Category is everything, every share, all at once. First to the stage, we bring Tsunami Muse. Bitch, bitch, bitch. This is the look that I would want to do. Yeah. Cover album for The Prisoner, which came out in 1979, year I was born. The tone that she found that bodysuit in, whether she dyed it or had it made, is almost exact to her skin tone. And then the beautiful silver bugle bead wig, is it connected to the dress? It's like attached as hair and dress. Uh, I honestly think this is one of the most beautiful share references ever. It looks like she said, hey bitch, can I borrow that? It is a beautiful share reference that I can't even handle. I'm gonna give this look a toot. Toot! Next we bring to the stage Morphine Love Dion. And she's giving us one of Cher's Oscar looks. Epic. Yes. I'm into it. This top part, I've seen before, bitch. Mm -hmm. You can find so much out there. So much. That you can utilize at different types of retailers that you could piece together. And I'm guessing this bitch went and found this dress downtown somewhere. You think? And then had things added to it. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. She looks gorgeous. That dress is stunning. Two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Maya Iman LePage doing an interpretation of Cher promoting burlesque. I think this is a gorgeous look. I think she looks cool, but I think this is more like Megan the Stallion than it is Cher. If I saw Maya Iman LePage in this with maybe another wig stacked on top of the one she's wearing, I would think, oh, you're giving me Cher. But I would think Cher turned back time. 
I would not think, oh, you look like Cher on the red carpet promoting burlesque. No, Why don't no, you no. just give us the Cher burlesque look? There's not enough hair. Mm. It looks like pieces that somebody grabbed and said, oh, bitch, this works. It's mm. not Cher at all. It's not Cher at all. I'm gonna boot this. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Geneva Carr, and she is giving... Ringling Brothers, 1974. She was going for the obscure, which I appreciate, and I like give her like love for that. She could have chosen something else, you know what I mean? Where's the big feathers? It's a little cheap. I don't like the length of the pants. I wish the pants were longer. I kind of wish there wasn't a sleeve on it. It looks really kind of hot glued. I don't like this thing. Mm -hmm. I do love red and I love red sequin. Why couldn't that pant leg go all the way to the floor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would actually elongate her. Mm -hmm. There's something about it, I'm getting Britney Spears. I'm gonna boot this. Yeah, it's a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Mirage. Share in concert, 1979. This looks like it came right out of a Bob Mackey showroom. I don't care for the hair, to be honest. Really? It, it comes off more Megara from Hercules. Oh, very. But why the big bang? That throws it off. I do like the hair, mm. but for a different look. Mirage's hair is more 60s, and Cher's is more Cher. She needed, <laughs> yeah, she needed the band that goes around this way. This and this is two different stories, mm. and I need one story at one time. Anyway, she looks good. Two. She's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Megami. She's giving us... Turn back time, bitch. All of the elements are there. Uh-huh, the little rip and shred. The hair's great. And a sailor's cap. Why the full panty in the back? Yeah. Why the modesty girl? That should have been a thong. It was the, very controversial because it, Cher wore a thong. And straddled a cannon on a ship full of semen with her ass hanging out. Um, I still love it though. Yeah, it's a toot. It's a toot. <laughs> <laughs> I think she looks great. Oh. Next we bring to the stage Plain Jane, a Bob Mackie replica mm. worn to the Met Gala. This is really stunning. I am one of those bitches that looks at things and goes, mm, why did the feathers have to go that far up? Because you're a hater. I'm not a hater. It's beautiful. I, it is beautiful. I wish that it were more the, sparse. The feathers huddled at the bottom and they gathered right, it, right, right around the knee. Where as it comes up further, it kind of fills out the dress more. I'm just looking for You really are. I love every minute of this. If we really wanted to nitpick, her makeup is all wrong for Cher. But the dress is beautiful. The hair looks great. She looks fantastic. I appreciate the reference. I knew it immediately. Mm -hmm. It's complete. It looks Cher. Beautiful. It's an iconic beautiful. Cher look. It's a beautiful, beautiful dress. And I give this look a two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Amanda Tori meeting, and she is giving us the Cher doll. The thing I like most about this outfit is the stole that she's wearing and the skirt part, but the rest looks like a really crunchy Selena. That's, you see what I'm looking I at. I see it. I, and it and the audience sees what I'm looking at. Bitty, bitty, it's too late. The skirt fits odd. It looks like there's way too much fabric. That hair looks sweaty. This look needs a breastplate so that you get the under boob. Under boob, yeah. It's a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Dawn. She's giving us a look from 1966. No, girl. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. First of all, I'm gonna start with the hair. The hair is the easiest thing to accomplish in this photo. Mm -hmm. Where's the bang? The long, blunt bang. Mm -hmm. The 1966 share bang. That's the thing that could have accomplished this from the top. But then the fur on the coat is like the lowest. Uh, I mean, no. I, no. I don't see it. I would never look at this and think, oh, bitch, that's giving me share. How it's, I feel about it is don't share. Just keep that to yourself, it's, honey. It's a boot. Yeah, it's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Q. Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour, 1973. It's a beautiful yeah. gown. And even without the headpiece, beautiful gown. Yeah. With the headpiece, even more beautiful gown. Headpiece could be worn without the gown. All of it is there. The one thing that's mm -hmm. missing for me, these pieces that come down on the side of this beautiful headdress. Headdress. 
that's one of those things that kind of makes or breaks the look. Not, not the look itself, because it's done beautifully and I wish it were there. It's complete. It looks really well put together. Beautifully constructed dress. I love the headpiece. I love the reference. I think it's glamorous and it's very Cher. And you see that and you think, Cher. I give it a two. Two. Oh. Oh. Next we bring to the stage Plasma. Cher at the Met Gala in 1985. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's the thing about it is it is a dress she obviously found somewhere and said, oh, this looks like this. That's what I'm going to do. It was not made to do this look. She said, oh, let me go through share pictures. Okay. I love the ears, the barrettes in the hair that continue with the earrings. Mm -hmm. I love the train. It's not the exact dress, obviously, but it's crystal to house. It's very down. close. It's corseted underneath. It's really quite beautiful. I give it a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Nymphia Wind. In Cher, Egyptian goddess, 1979. In the photo, Cher's barefoot. But anytime a queen is gonna give barefootedness, mm -hmm. you put on a clear pump. Mm -hmm. You should still look like Barbie, pooched on a high heel. Everything is there. All the elements are there. This bitch said, oh, I need this and I need it exactly like that. No, I love this. And I love that she's added that cape to it too, which is a really fun touch. The whole thing is beautiful. She looks excellent in this outfit. I am very impressed with this. Very, very share. And I give it a toot. Toot. Up next, we bring to the stage Safira Cristal. Classic share, 2017. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, 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 God. Yes, yes, God, a share. Yes, yes, yes. I am into this whole thing. And she knows she is feeling it. Look at her go. Safira Cristal. It's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. top to bottom. I mean, if mm -hmm. anyone was going to wear this look, it should have been her. Mm -hmm. And she did, and she served it. She looks stunning. It's She's amazing. A, what a beautiful bitch. That bitch has got features, but that neck piece with the pheasant feathers and turquoise, so beautiful. It's a two. Okay. Toot! Trend alert! Oh, Cher, oh, bitch. Oh, I'm Cher. Woo, holler. Oh, no. <laughs> God, I'm so out of control. <laughs> We look like we're having convulsions. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that's our share impression. So <laughs> try explaining that so to us. So don't even person. don't even try us right now. Our, our top two of the week is Tsunami Muse. Oh, oh, bitch yeah. of vision and bugle bees. Oh, bitch. Oh. Woo! She's a fairy, bitch. Look at her. She's about to fly away. I mean, look at her. Top two. Head to toe. You can watch a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 on MTV Fridays. And Drag Race Season 16 is also available worldwide outside of the US, Canada, and Australia on WoW Presents Plus. We hope that you children learned a little bit about Cher. Cher is gonna be so mad watching this. I know. She's, She's probably a YouTube, these two oh. idiots. <laughs> <laughs>